Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower, Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of seven distinct areas to explore. Your adventure begins in Pipe Rock Plateau. A world of ice and clouds awaits in Fluff Puff Peaks. And at the heart of the Flower Kingdom are the Petal Isles. Plus, more areas to explore. A rich variety of courses await. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. And play the courses in any order you like. Besides Mario, you can also play as yeah! Luigi, Peach, Daisy, one of two toads, and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. For a more easygoing experience, playing as the Yoshis or Nabbit means you won't take damage. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. You can even jump off them like platforms to get to those hard to reach places. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Whoa! I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return! When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger. Whoa. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. Or the terrain may tilt. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? Or a spike ball. When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. You can unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Shoot vines in mid-air and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Draw in nearby Moolah with the Coin Magnet Badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. You will not stop dashing with the Jet Run Badge. From the convenient to the unconventional, there are even more badges for you to try and find your favorite way to play. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will become a ghost. If another player reaches them, they'll jump right back into action. Plus,
Plus, you can ride Yoshi. If you connect online, you might see live player shadows. Other people around the world playing in real time. You can revive other players, send greetings, and share in-game items. You'll get to experience a subtle connection with players online as you enjoy the adventure together. You can also create a room to get together with friends. Here, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends. Whoa, whoa. When Super Mario Brothers wonder